Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. For those of you who don't know, Dragon Ball was my first real anime outside of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. So to see Sparking Zero come and just bring the whole roster of characters that I know into one fighting game is crazy. I've been really looking forward to this. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you leave a thumbs up. At the moment, this is going to be a one-off video. However, if you guys want to see more, make sure you leave a comment and a like on the video. Why not subscribe? I upload as much as I can and let's get straight into it. I have already played uh, a good portion of the game. Not a whole Whole lot. Before I even talk about what I've done, let's look at these fucking menus. Like, I- I was watching some of this gameplay yesterday because unfortunately I did not have time to play as much as I wanted to. I only had about an hour and I didn't really want to use my first hour to make a video. I'd much rather sit here, take my time, and create as good of a video as I can. But like, look at these. You cycle through, okay. Goku gets up and flies away to different screens. He greets different hey. characters. It's like you cycle through different things and it highlights different characters. It's so yeah. good. Then you go back to Come Forth and this is where you can summon Shenron, Parunga, and Super Shenron. These grant you different wishes based on which one you choose. Oh Super Shenron God. allows you to get a character, and at the moment, I think the only two characters you can get are Zamasu and Goku Black. Considering those are the only characters Goku in the whole story me. other than our main cast that interact with the Super Dragon Balls. Yeah. Then if you come back into episode and custom, this is kind of like the story mode of the game. I have already beaten Great Ape Vegeta. I beat him about, I think, three or four tries. I'm gonna warn you right now, I am horrible at this game. Absolutely fucking atrocious. But I'm still having a ton of fun. I think seeing the cast is all great. I won't spend too much time on anything else. I just wanna get them straight in back into episode battle. And look how, again, how interactive it is, how clean the game is. Really hope you guys do enjoy this because this is a phenomenal game. And if you look at the story modes, you can see there's a bunch of different ones. You are forced to start with Goku. However, if let's say you do Goku for a bit and you're like, I don't really wanna do this, you can play Vegeta's story. You can do Gohan, Piccolo, Frieza, and Goku. Goku Black. Without further ado, if we go into the story map here as well, you can see that there's all these different portions in right here. And if you see that little green symbol right there on the screen, it means we have an option to take an alternate path. We can either follow the story as is, or we can take an alternate path. And I believe we can get different endings. And unfortunately, I cannot go forward and show you like where these other paths will lead. But without further ado, let's jump straight in. Again, I'm warning you, I am really fucking bad at this game, but I love it. It's so fun. About a month after the group set off on their journey, Goku receives an SOS from Planet Nam. With the help of Yajirobe, Sensu means Goku now finally recovered boards the spaceship Bulma's father has prepared for him and sets off for Planet Namek. On the spaceship, Goku continues his training. Before arriving on Planet Namek, he manages to break every limit to attain greater power than he's ever known. Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, makes his appearance on Planet Namek in search of the Dragon Balls. A newly recovered Vegeta also arrives, hoping to lay his hands on the very same Dragon Balls. Yeah, this is when he's beating the shit out of Zarbon. Because he gets his Zenkai boost, or Zenkai- I think he gets more than one Zenkai boost, actually, through this whole thing. Vegeta may have taken out the Emperor's underlings, but Frieza soon calls in his elite team of fighters, the Ginyu Force. In response, Vegeta teams up with Krillin and the others, but even still, their fight with the Ginyu Force is no cakewalk. Goku arrives in the nick of time, ready to show off the results of his training. So this is going to be when he fights Raccoon. He's so sick. Boom. Yep, he leaves himself wide open. Sorry, yep. You were wide open, so I just he says it. I love dude. This game is making me want to go and purchase and play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I you little punk. Oh, minus one raccoon. Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? Oh my god. This dolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Hmm, he's got some nerve. Let's teach you, show punk, why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Let's go! I'll say it. Jace is annoying. Yeah! I really don't like Jace's voice. He's so- he just talks so much. <laughs> this is what happens to morons who underestimate the Ginyu Oh my force. god, that fucking- I'm not done yet. He's charged up a lot of key, but that's... Oh my god, okay. Yeah, let me hit this charge. Times 20 Kaioken? Where is he? Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, just keep going. Just keep laying on him. Let's see if this... 
Oh my god, it's huge. Please land. Please don't miss. Yes! Yes! I landed it! Dude, this music is insane. Come on. Kyle Ken, come in. Yes! Ha! Huh? May! Do it! Ha! Woo! It's so nice. It's so good. Oh my god, it looks so good. And he stands there just holding him. Like a trophy. Goku swiftly overpowers two members of the Ginyu Force. Another manages to escape, but Goku has more than demonstrated the fruits of his training. He hears about the Dragon Balls from Gohan and the others, but before they can take action, Goku senses a strong key headed in the direction of Guru. Goku tells the others to head straight for the Dragon Balls, while he readies himself once more. It's time for him to put an end to Captain Ginyu. Oh shit. So, this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. Only 5,000, he says. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? That's crazy. But that can't be. That's this so nuts in this point in the show. Saying. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent. Or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. Captain Ginyu's about to, to fucking think I'd find take out all the I beating. Finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? Fucking Z Goku t does not fucking mess around. There's Vegeta of all people. I don't know why you're standing there. Have fun, Kakarot! Vegeta! This is gonna be good! Oh, I just got- I just got fucked. I just got fucked so hard. Oh my god. Hum Do it. Oh, and it landed, I think. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I grabbed him! Oh. Okay. Your strength is unbelievable. Oh my. I, this is when he takes it and he switches bodies. Because he injures the shit out of himself. Yeah, he injures the fuck out of himself. And then he takes Goku's body. So Goku becomes like low-key useless. This is so weird. Like, he also does it out of his mouth. Change now! Suddenly, Captain Ginyu begins chuckling. Then, he lets out a deafening scream. In doing so, he triggers a technique that enables him to switch bodies with Goku. Now in control of Goku's body, Captain Ginyu heads back to his spaceship with his subordinate. Goku makes a desperate chase after them, but is hindered, trapped in Captain Ginyu's injured body. Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! Using my body! The others arrive to find Goku battling his own body. Unknown to everybody, Vegeta has his own plans for Ginyu. But first... Oh, he's beating the shit out of Birder. Seeing that Birder has lost his will to fight, Vegeta ruthlessly puts an end to his life. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot. It's kill or be killed! I love this ruthlessness. After finishing off Berter, Vegeta shifts his attention to Ginyu, who has taken over Goku's body. Now it's time to finish the job! Now die! I really wish this was more like story-esque. Change now! Please let this work! What? Oh no! He, oh yeah. He switches him back. Goku rushes to intercept Ginyu's body change taking. He's able to reclaim his own body just in the nick of time. Bastard! How dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What what the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick! This is when he goes to swap with Vegeta. Yours will do, Vegeta! If he throws the frog. Suspecting Ginyu's plan, Goku throws a frog between the captain and Vegeta. What in the world? Whew. That 
Close. Now the frog is in Ginyu's mind. Yep. Thwarted, Captain Ginyu is now trapped inside a frog and Goku is saved. Goku is then put inside the medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and the others fighting nearby. Now get ready. Oh man. It goes into his fourth form. Yep. Meanwhile, Vegeta and the others sense an immense power coming from, an op from their opponent. One that far exceeds their own. Just as he is marveled at Frieza's strength, Goku's treatment finishes and he is fully Try healed. Hang on just a little bit longer. I'm on my way, guys! When Goku arrives at the raging battle, Vegeta is moments away from death at Frieza's hand. I, I'm begging you, please, beat him! It's so me. unlike him to beg. For the pride of our race, you must defeat So him. unlike him from his pride. He must die by a Saiyan's hand! And so the battle between Goku and Frieza begins. Oh my for god. You to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. Oh, dude, I'm getting chills. Oh my fuck. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! Oh, man. And I would just love to see you try. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick. We'll only be in the way. Go on! Come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I was not expecting that. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'm killing you. Oh my god, he's cooking me! I think I'll toy with you a bit. I don't want to do that. I meant to move, man. I made me charge instead. Minus 20,000 health. Dude, I'm getting absolutely shit on! Share your energy with me! Okay. There we go, I'm finally landing some hits! Oh, he just dodged my ass! How did he do that? I'm mashing the shit out of my... Dude, how is he doing that? I, oh my god, dude, I'm holding art, I'm holding the buttons to Dragon Dash, but he will power up instead, I'm gonna lose, I actually just got cooked this fight. But do it, man! Okay, it's winnable, it's somehow winnable. If I play perfect. Nope, never mind. Fuck! <laughs> Dude, I got cooked by- holy shit. I got hit by every single attack. Holy shit. I did not play that at, at all. Like, properly. After Goku is defeated by a terrifically powerifying Frieza, Frieza steals the Dragon Balls and makes his wish. His name reverberates through the universe and every creature comes to know him as their immortal emperor. I think not! Oh, I grabbed him! Nice! Oh, how did I do that? I don't know how I did that, but that was fucking sick. Do it again. Oh! Whoa. Okay, so I think it's... Hold on. Let's see if I can land this at uh, this long range. Yeah, I missed. Yeah, I just got shit on. Fuck! Lower the... Yes, it landed. I'm... Dude, I'm cooked. Oh my god, dude. It would be nice if when I... Fuck, man. It would be nice if when I got hit by something, I didn't roll off of the ground. I, like, bounce and roll for ages. What if I don't boost any of it? I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. He also has, he also has an entire more higher health bar than me. Dude, please! Thank you! There we go. Oh my god, come on. Just keep chaining it together. 
please land. I think I missed. Oh no, minus one health bar. I did, why did I let myself get hit by that? Dude, I can't see! Come on, come on! I'm spamming the shit out of this! Please. Win this fight. My only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. Surely? Oh, ultimate blast unlocked. What? Beat his ass. Fuck you, Frieza, you pussy. Oh, this has got to land. Boom. Come on. That lands, right? Yes, it hits. That Please kill. Yes, and I beat him with it. Let's go. Fuck, that was hard. That was fun, but fuck, that was hard. Goku's spirit bomb has finally brought an end to the long and hard-fought battle. At last, our heroes can rest. Or so they think. Until... No, it, it can't be. Freeze he lives through the spirit... He lives through the spirit bomb. Please. I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home. That's a scary fucking one-liner. No, this is when he goes Super Saiyan. I wonder how they. I wonder how they do the animation. I'm actually so excited to see how they do this. I think the brat should go next. I actually just got chills through this. Go. Oh my god, fucking lens flare. Holy shit. Do as I tell you right now before I lose what little sense of reason I have left. Super Saiyan Goku. Oh my god, it looks so good. Overcome with pure rage at seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transform in into a legendary Super Saiyan. Once again, the trumpets of battle sound. Frieza, whose body can survive even the vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy Planet Namek in its entirety. Five minutes left until Planet Namek's extinction, Frieza finally reaches full power. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. Wait, switch camera. This really must be 100% <laughs> of his full power. Am I in first person as Goku? <laughs> this is so weird. What the fuck? Also King Kai. Chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. It really is, and I mean, he's he's got a point. He's, like, yeah, you want to see if you can beat him, and rightfully so. But like, my brother in Christ, you might just get absolutely cooked, and the end of the planet is at us is at stake. Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time, and I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down. Krillin also got a good point. Friend. Frieza took him from me. He killed him in an instant, like he was nothing. Eighty-five percent now. 90. Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. No regrets for either one of us. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. True. <laughs> full power Frieza versus Super Saiyan Goku. I'm going to land this shit off the rip. Ah, and it landed! Oh my god, it does so much damage. Then do you want to finish this, or are you just gonna keep talking? I'll power up again. I don't. Yeah, let me power up. Go ahead. Get his ass, Goku! Meteor smash. Let's go. See if, does it land? It missed. I went through the mountain. I missed. I really want to land that. Come on, come on. See what you got. God, the aura is so sick. Dude, my brother in Christ. Every time I unblock. Every time I unblock, man. I'm trying to 
I'm trying to use the the combo break thing, but it's not working. I'm actually getting cooked. Dude, I can't. Holy key bass spam. Dude, I'm actually just getting rolled. I gotta land this. I got to. Don't dodge it, please. Ah! I missed. You sure about that? Dude, there's nothing I could do. He just constantly, no matter what, Goku wouldn't block. No matter what, he wouldn't block it, he wouldn't move. I. He just constantly took the fucking back shots. Stop, stop powering up. Stop it. No, don't stop hitting me too. Dude, Goku, turn around. I'm literally blocking. I'm only hitting the block buttons. How are you like... Dude, holy... How? I'm If I'm only hitting the block buttons, it makes no fucking sense. If the only buttons I'm hitting are the block buttons, why is he not blocking anything? Guard, it's R1. And then I want to... There's a high and a low guard? Why can't we just have a block? Why, man? That's probably why I'm getting shit on. He's probably hitting me with lift strikes and flying kicks and shit like that. And if he's not, then I'm just a fucking moron. Counters an enemy while taking hits. So if I mash the fuck out of this, so I can't, okay, so if I mash, if I hit R3, I should just fucking dodge it, or if I have a, if I have a skill count. Just like I did that earlier. Uh -huh. I'm literally, I'm literally smashing, I'm literally smashing guard counter. Unless it takes two skill points on me, I, I'm literally pressing the shit, I'm spamming R3. And it's not... It's not breaking it. It's not breaking it at all. Did I misread it? Am I a fucking idiot? Do it. Do, it doesn't do a single thing. I swear. This is like so inconsistent. You dare say his name. Yeah. 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 Dude, dude, the thing is, you have to tell the dragon to transport everyone except the Frieza to planet Earth. Wait, don't make that wish. Ask the dragon to leave both Frieza and me behind. I just need to do damage. I just need to do damage. Corner him, corner him, corner him. Beat his ass. Please land. This is not gonna land because it went up to this, this level. Oh, I got to land it. Thank God. Thank fuck. Holy shit. I'm telling you, guard counter, the s hitting the shit out of R3 when you have skill points, does not work. I am, unless I'm just poorly timing it. Someone educate me if I'm poorly timing it. That shit does not work to me. <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. Is he gonna say it? I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why. Which is, is, is he, why. Does he say it? You must die by my hand! You fool! Yes! And he obliterates the shit out of him. After a desperate struggle, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from the crumbling remains of planet Namek. But the spaceship he's found is too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a pod piloted by the Ginyu Force and with that safely, but narrowly escapes planet Namek. Yet the pod is not headed for Earth. It is destined for planet Yardrat, and Goku learns a new technique. If you know, you know. But that's gonna be it for my video today on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It is quite a long one. However, I love this fucking game so much. I will be playing it in my free time. So if you guys want to see more footage on this, make sure you let me know in the comments below and leave a like on the video. I am gonna be finishing Wukong. So I will be finishing Wukong and then there's a higher chance of me producing some Dragon Ball. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel grow. And also make sure you enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia sending out a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.